Hello and welcome to DTW GED Prep Welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at the order of operation, okay, which is pandas, all right? And I have 13 questions here. So I'm sure when we go through these 13 questions, there will be no, I tell you, no questions on the order of operation that you won't be able to solve, okay? Because, you know, I have mixed everything the way... Um, uh, uh the GED sets their questions so you would get it after we do this together all right so before we get on to the video please do subscribe to this youtube channel give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends family loved ones preparing for the GED test you can also check our website dtwgedprep.com for summary notes on your sciences, social studies, okay, study guides, free practice questions on RLA, maths, uh, sciences, social studies, and also your GED math formula sheet. You can also join our Facebook group. We're over 22,000 members in the group. If you need support, you need to know the GED in whichever state in the US you are in or whichever country you are in, you can please do um join the group and ask your questions okay and um every link will be in the video description box of this video and if you require one-on-one -on -one tutoring i do one-on-one -on -one tutoring on math science social studies and rla you can contact me i'll leave my email in the video description box of this video all right so now let's get on to our video other operations so we have pandas and what does pandas stand for p is for parentheses e is for exponents that's your powers m is your multiplication d is your division a is for addition and s is for subtraction so why do we need pandas okay we need pandas because it guides us in our order of operations we have several orders of operations we have addition you know multiplication subtraction powers parentheses so which do we do first if we were allowed everyone was allowed to try their own way everyone would have different answers that's why there had to be a standard rule which they follow pandas mathematically worldwide it's universal in any country everyone follows this so you know we are on the same path we're in the same universe and all that okay so that's why we use pandas so when you want to do uh you know you want to solve this you have to start first with your parentheses after you do your parentheses you go to your exponent then you go to your your, your multiplication division addition and subtraction and that's the rule we're going to follow in solving these 13 questions now the first question says five plus uh three plus five times two minus four divided by two so you know if if we don't have a rule maybe you would do five plus two i would do two minus four you know another person would do four divided by two but since there's a rule since we don't have a parenthesis we don't have an exponent we have a multiplication right we go to do our multiplication first so here we have three plus five times two minus four divided by two so we do multiplication first this we get 10 so we do plus three minus four divided by two next we have division so we do division so we have four divided by two that will give us two so we have minus 10 plus three do you see that so now we can do addition and subtraction so we do three plus ten that's 13 then 13 minus two gives us 11. do you see that <laughs> you see how that has make ev made everyone's job easy okay now going to number two number two says six in parentheses negative two, uh, minus two times three plus ten divided by two equal to so we have a parenthesis so we do the parenthesis six minus two that's four times three plus ten divided by two so we have a multiplication so we do four times three so that gives us what 12 plus we have a division so we do 10 divided by two that gives us a five then we add this and that gives us 17. do you see that okay so you can see where pandas is very important because you can make you you can make a mistake by doing three times four, ten 
uh, 3 plus 10, which will make our answer entirely different from what we have gotten here. Now, let's go to number 3. Number 3 says 15 divided by 3 plus, in parentheses, 4 times 2 minus 5. So we have a parenthesis, so let's resolve this. 4 times 2 is 8, okay? So you have 8 here minus 5 plus 3 divided by, this is a 15 divided by 3. So we have a division, so we do this. 15 divided by 3 is a 5 plus 8 minus 5. So a 5 plus 8, that's 13, and 13 minus 5, that gives us 8. Do you see that? Now, number four says seven plus three times, in parentheses, four minus two, all squared. So, we do seven plus three times, the parentheses first, four minus two is two. Remember, two all squared. So, we square the two, so we have four plus three times two squared is four. So, it means the next thing we do is multiplication before addition. We don't add, then multiply, no. We multiply then add okay because multiplication comes before addition so three times four that is 12 so we add now seven plus 12 and what would that give us that would give us what a 19 do you see that okay all right so here what do we do what's our next Next uh, question is what question five, all right? Question five. So it says here two square. Let's let's write it here. Let's use this space here. I'm going to erase this very soon. So it says two square times five plus six divided by three minus one, all right? So there's no parenthesis, but there's an exponent, which is two square, okay? Exponent. So we have four times five plus 6 divided by 3 minus 1. The next we do multiplication as 4 times 5, that's 20, plus the next we do is division. So it will be 6 divided by 6, 3, which gives us 2, then minus 1. That's 20 plus 2, 22, and 22 minus 1 will give us what? 21. So that's our answer for question 5. Now question 6 says, 10 in parentheses, uh, 10 minus 3 in parentheses times 2 plus 8 divided by 4. So what do we have here? We have to do a parentheses, 10 minus uh, 3, that's 7. We have times 2 plus 8 divided by 4. Next, we do multiplication, which is 14, plus we have to do division first, which is 8 divided by 4, that's 2. And 14 plus 2 that gives us 16 okay that's number seven is that number seven number six and let's go to number seven let's manage this space here can we yes we can 12 divided by 2 plus 5 minus 3 times 1 square so we don't have a parenthesis we don't have an exponent okay we have multiplication here so that's 1 square which is still 1, okay? We have division here, so we can do two, 12 divided by 2, which is 6 plus 5, uh, okay? Here we have uh, minus 3, this is a negative 3, times 1. 1 squared is 1, okay? That's 1 times 1, which is still 1. So that will be minus 3, okay? So we have 6 plus 5, that's 11, and 11 minus 3, that would give us what? Eight. Do we see that? Okay, let us clear. We have to clear. We have to clear the space. We are on the we just did number seven, so we're going to number eight. Okay. So number eight. Number eight says four plus six divided by two times in parentheses 3 minus 1 that's number 8 so our parentheses 3 minus 1 that's 2 that's 2 times 2 divided by 6 then plus 4 okay so here what do we do we do here uh, our parentheses 
we do we following our partners what do we do we have here the multiplication and division okay so we do here four plus this divided by this that would give us what uh three then multiplied by two so that would be four plus three times two that would give us six then four plus six that would give us what a ten okay now for number nine what do we have number nine says four in parentheses three minus two plus in parentheses six plus four this dot here means multiplication okay this you can see that this dot is different from you know when you have when the dot is in it it means it is 4.3 like a number a decimal point but when it's in between at the middle it means it's a multiplication take note of this okay it means it is a multiplication the GED usually bring out questions like this so this is a multiplication so we have this so we resolve the parentheses so that's 4 times 3 that's 12 minus 2 plus in here we first do you know this is 6 plus 4 times 3 we do multiplication first not addition so that will be 4 times 3 that's 12 plus 6 okay if you do it the other way around you'll get the wrong answer if you do uh 6 plus 4 which is a 10 and 10 times 3 you get 30 but if you do it the right way you can see we're going to get 18 do you see that if we do this times this then plus this we get 18 so that's why we follow pandas all right plus two and this so here we have 12 minus 2 uh that's 10 then 10 plus this is 18 and that'll give us what 28 okay when we open this parenthesis it's still a positive 18 and when you add it to 10 we get 28 now for number 10 number 10 says 18 divided by 9 minus 6 in uh, raised to power 2 so that's 18 divided by 9 minus 6 is a 3 and what is 3 square 3 square is 9 and what is 18 divided by 9 that would give us 2 so this is our answer now for 11 11 says 5 square 11 is quite big need more space here make up space for the remaining okay 11 says uh, 5 square plus 6 minus 3 divided by 16 minus 3 square close the parentheses so here we have powers right exponents 5 square is 25 plus 6 minus 3 divided by this is 16 minus 3 square is 9 okay so we have 25 plus 6 that's 31 and 31 minus 3 that will give us 28 then divided by 16 minus 9 what would that give us that would give us a 7 so we have 28 divided by 7 and what would that give us that will give us a 4 so 28 divided by 7 and that gives us a 4 so our answer is 4 Look at number 12. Number 12 says 3 in parentheses. A bigger parenthesis, a smaller one. 9 minus 6 all squared dot 5 close the parenthesis. So let's resolve this. First, all this in parentheses. So we have 3. 9 minus 6, that's 3 squared dot 5. That's 3. Nine, 3 squared is 9. Then dot means times 5, right? So 9 times 5 is 45, right? Then, remember, we have a 3 here. So we do a final 3. What do we do? We do a final 3 times 45. What is 3 times 45? That will give us a 5, carry 1, 12, 135. Do you see that? We have a 135. Now, here, our final question number 13. Let's manage the space here. So we have, we have 160 minus 4 in parentheses. You can see this 4 is affecting everything in this parenthesis. So that's 4 point dot 
in parentheses 14 minus 11 all squared close the parentheses so that's 160 minus 4 let's resolve this so this is 4 dots which is multiplication 14 minus 10 will give us 4 so that's 4 square right so that's 160 minus 4 4 dot uh what is 4 square that's 16 so it means we're still multiplying again so that's 160 minus 4 4 times 16 is 64 then finally we have 160 minus 4 times 64 what is 4 times 60 oh i made a mistake here this should be 11 right so that is uh, 14 minus 11 which is 3 right 3 square is 9 right so that's 4 times 9 is 36 right then 4 times 36 would give us a 144 and when we do finally 160 minus a 144 that would give us 16 you see that so this is our final answer quite a long video right <laughs> Even my hands are actually aching me right now. All right. I'm sure by going through this, you fully understand order of operations and pandas. All right. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Do subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends, family and loved ones preparing for the GED test. Don't forget, you can check out our website for more resources, summary notes on sciences, social studies, free practice questions, free study guides, um, downloads that you can use. I would upload the course very soon. You, you can also, you know, just stay subscribed so you, you, you hear when I upload it. Or also join the Facebook group where I also interact with students daily on a daily basis. Ask your questions about the GED. You want to get into nursing school. You want to be a doctor. How do you do that through your GED? You can ask those questions on the group. Okay, so thank you. All links would be in the video description box of this video. You need one-on-one -on -one tutoring. You can contact me. My email would be in the video description box of the video of this video. So thank you. And uh, finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for He is the way, He is the truth, He is the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. Right, and also give us that life of heaven on earth here. It can still happen with Christ. Healing is, you know, he says healing is the children's bread, it's our bread, it's our right, and it's in Jesus, it's in you just accepting him and giving him those burdens, and he would make your yoke everything light. He would take it and give you rest and give you peace. That you know you don't understand <laughs> even you don't even understand the peace that's what it's going to give to you so please accept jesus today and everything would be all right all right so i wish you success in life in your gd test and see you in our next video you are destined to win